new album is like it's a big pop album. I want it to be an international problem for people, you know. And, and we made the record with that in mind that it needed to be, it needed to work on every continent. But it was mixed and mastered in America. But the the guts of the record was actually put together in a gloomy little room above a pub. And I'm I, I'm extra proud of the record because of that adversity to come out with this big. Just that's it, just that one word, big record uh, from such a small room. Uh, you know, I'm just living in a room with mice above a pub. It forced me to jump into another headspace, basically. I didn't have room for a bed and my instruments, so I just had a mattress up against the wall, which kind of helped with the soundproofing and soaking up the bass. We finished the song, Straight No Chaser, and it just suddenly seemed like a really good mantra. Um, for what we wanted to do with, the, with this album. And it was kick him in the nuts for our, like, what should we do about this track? Well, we've got to kick him in the nuts, so just turn that up. Kick him in the nuts, kick him in the nuts, turn that up. You know, what do we do about this? I don't know, we've got to kick him in the nuts. What's the... You, you get these, like, verbal ticks, and, and then it became straight no chaser. Straight no chaser, straight no chaser. Just, it's pop. Maybe I've taken a little step back to the mainstream and got, said to myself, do you know what? Yeah, I do want to entertain people, that would be, that would be fun, because for me that was a novelty, because all my stuff had, had been so kind of, qu not quiet, but like careful, polite, like an Englishman's take on, on kind of urban music. Mm -hmm. There was no distortion, nothing was like, I had no reverb or digital delays, it wasn't like echoing around or bouncing around inside your, inside your hi-fi, it was just like, hello, this is a song, here's the drums. But now it's boom, 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 bo